Good morning. It's Monday, October 5th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Heresy, a Spiritual Disconnect from Reality. And our scriptures are Psalm 51 and also Romans chapter 7. David writes in Psalm 51, For I was born a sinner, yes, from the moment my mother conceived me. But you desire honesty from the womb, teaching me wisdom even there. The Apostle Paul wrote in Romans chapter 7, And I know that nothing good lives in me, that is, in my sinful nature. I want to do what is right, but I can't. There's a pop psychology that parrots the oft-heard, I'm okay, you're okay mantra. This teaches that there's a lot of good in you, and that's not totally biblically wrong. God's creation was and is good. Where it departs from 100% truth is denying the evil in each of us. And anything credited to scripture which is not entirely true and consistent with all of scripture, by definition, is heresy. The pop theology psychological disconnect from truth, or heresy, is to claim that the things that are problematic to your life just need a few tweaks or changes or a little self-discovery here and there, and you'll be all right. The Bible never says that. What the Bible does say to believers or followers of Jesus is that you will be okay, that God has your life in his hands, and when necessary, he'll straighten you out. What the Bible does say to both believers and unbelievers alike is, you're depraved. You're totally depraved. You inherited a sin nature, and that's who you really are deep down inside. Before you surrender to Christ, you are not okay. This born perfect and able to get even better kind of thinking has spawned all kinds of spurious thinking that not only are we okay, Anything we can think up to do is okay as well. Sexual perversion is one of the more glaring examples of that. Think gay pride parades, etc., flaunting it in the very presence of God that we can do what we want, even if Scripture abhors and forbids it, because we're okay. Being created and accepting that you can stay that way is as goofy a life principle as physically staying a baby. Can you imagine the joy of changing a diaper on a 40-year-old? This spurious theology spawns a host of ill-thinking and degraded living because it rejects the sovereignty of God and our required surrender to God's will. The worldly mindset here is that we never have to change anything. While trusting in the sovereignty of God is coming back to reality, recognizing we have to let God change anything or everything. Unfortunately, some, even many people, deny this reality. They don't believe what David wrote in his psalm about God requiring lifelong honesty. And in covering up the lie about our sinful bent, we disconnect from truth. And frankly, life is downhill from that point. For you today, Living in truth, even when it means climbing down off the I'm okay, you're okay pedestal we'd like to think is our right, it's the only way to truly be right with the one who created us. Getting started on that project is simple, if not easy. Say it with me. Forgive us our trespasses. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.